The race is about to start. We're bringing you this race today, live from Airport Oval. We're in for some serious racing action today. Hey there, cats! Good time of the day to you, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is the fifth Grand Prix out of six uh, to of to uh, I don't know, um, whatever. Six, uh, fifths out of six in total, so yeah. Whatever, thing is, this is probably the easiest Grand Prix because it actually consists of only one race and this race is an airport oval and you can see it on the radar. It's just an oval track, you won't even see any drifting in here. The point of this race is to showcase the drafting mechanics in Ridge Racer, although... I should say that, uh, well, no, no, you know, it may be a bit confusing at first, but overall it's not that hard at all, yeah, so I guess, I guess it's probably the easiest Grand Prix in total, even easier than the, you know, the basic one, the one, the, the standard, I believe it's called, and it is definitely the easiest one of the extra GPs. <sighs> With the fact that it comes after the Duke Grand Prix, it's just, you know, a breath of fresh air straight into my face, damn it. Woo! And it feels good, I definitely like this kind of Grand Prix. It's something that we Denver fans truly appreciate, so just watch me doing the, this, uh, this airport all 10 laps and... Man... It's gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be just just smooth and good and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. I've mentioned I'm gonna do a custom soundtrack. I haven't done it before yet, but I guess I'll do it in Maximum Grand Prix. And I have several ideas which I might might probably will execute at uh, at a bit uh, after the Maximum Grand Prix. Uh, well, at least I hope I'll be able to execute them. So this this uh, Ridge Racer 5 series might stretch a little bit, but well, time will tell. And here comes the first lap. Here comes the first lap. Six laps to go. Yep, six laps to go, brothers. Six laps to go. Yeah, drafting is actually a thing in Ridge Racer and. Yes, probably this is uh, the only race in which you really need it, but other than that, if you will use drafting in other races, it might be quite a nifty little trick, you know? It may help you on many straight throughout the rich city. I wonder if I'll be able... No, I guess that's my maximum speed without drafting. But maybe with drafting I'll be able to make it to 400 km per, kilometers per hour. Which actually would be the Denver Spectra maximum speed. Or at least, you know, at least uh, kind of rival it or so. I, I don't know how to put it correctly. At least it will put us in tie with Denver Spectra, which is kind of amazing for Denver Toreador, since it is kind of, you know, not a dual car. I mean, it was kind of a real deal in Ridge Racer 7, where class 4 cars could make it on their own against special cars, damn it! Rammed me into the wall, you bastard! How dare you! Oh, and we are starting to lap drivers. There goes some Kamata Fiera. We're gonna lap many more of them before the finishing line. Well, not many, but, you know, a fair amount of them, so to say. And yeah, you know, the other drivers are the biggest problem in Ridge Racer 5. Well, it's not a problem in Airport Oval. Yep, there goes the second place. First place, here I am. Several laps left. So yeah, in all the other races, the other drivers are the biggest problem there is on the track. Two laps to go. Uh, this is... Uh, they've kind of fixed it in Ridge Racer 6 or 7. 
Matter of fact, they've just changed mechanics a lot in Ridge Racer 6 and 7 by, you know, kind of reducing the damage which you get by hitting from hitting other drivers and was in the track on the track adding adding nitros and all that stuff but in Ridge Racer 5 other drivers are fucking motherfuckers you know I, it's just it's just it's just pain in the ass to take them over sometimes they just block you and uh, it looks like they they cannot make a mistake however hard you hit them you cannot really drive them into the wall or something all you do from hitting them is all you receive from hitting them is uh, losing speed and control and they are actually getting speed and all that stuff so yeah oh yeah not to race without a fuck up ain't it i've just hit a wall well actually for the second time and and ah! <laughs> didn't quite make it but he was close that was real close you know well, that was kind of cool finish, you know. I guess it was better than than could have been if I just finished first without, you know, without some kind of uh, excitement or so. An element of excitement, an element of surprise, an element of battle. Congratulations! Yeah. You're a true. Here's my trophy. <laughs> I've accidentally pressed a, uh, a start button before I finish my sentence. But well, whatever. I guess it will come smooth when I, once I'll montage the video. Uh, and just make a small cut in the comments. Whatever. Yeah. That's it. Just maximum Grand Prix left. It will come soon enough. Stay tuned for it. Thanks for being with me. Good luck.